the balloon is considered to be one of the strongest and most powerful troops in Clash of Clans, but in its 11 plus years of being in the game, it has never directly received a single nerf. But why is this? Why wouldn't Supercell nerf what is considered one of the most broken and overpowered troops in the game? Well, there are a couple of reasons for this, all of which we're going to be talking about in this video. The first reason Supercell will never nerf them is because of their overall presence and importance in the game. Game. The Balloon is a very versatile troop that can play a ton of different roles and can be used effectively in a ton of different armies. First of all, you have the pretty much only Balloon army, which is mainly for the lower town halls, but it can be used pretty effectively at the higher town halls by skilled players if they use clone spells and are able to effectively time their attack. But in both of these cases, the Balloons play a primary role in the attack where they are the main and most important part. And they can also be used side by side with the Lava Hounds and the Lava Loon attack where both of those troops play essential roles and are both the main troops. And it is a very similar situation with the Dragon and Electro Dragon attacks as well. And those are really the most popular and most widely used strategies for the balloons, but they can do so much more. A handful of balloons are using a wide variety of attacks to play a ton of different roles as well. The most popular is probably as a funnel troop, where the balloons are used to just get some ground defenses that may be out of range of defenses that can shoot the balloons or just in a position where the balloons can destroy it before dying. This can really help with funneling as the other troops take less damage it can stay alive longer and it can also help funnel hog riders or miners or just any other defense targeting troop to go and target other more important defenses and other than funneling they can be used as cleanup and support troops and a couple of other things so the purpose of me saying all of that was that if Supercell ended up nerfing the balloon then that would just disrupt so many strategies in the game especially with pro players who surprisingly carry a few balloons in their armies quite often, mainly for the reasons I just mentioned. And all those armies and strategies getting disrupted would make a ton of players angry and I'm sure it will cause quite a bit of outrage within the community since many players love and use the balloons. And honestly, right now with what is going on in Clash Royale and Brawl Stars, the last thing Supercell wants is for there to be even more problems in their other games especially because of the whole ores situation and controversy that is still somewhat going on. But outside of just disrupting the current game and meta, another reason is because of the reliability of the balloons. Now what do I exactly mean by this? Well the balloon has been in the game since the very beginning. It was one of the 8 original troops. This means that everybody who has ever played the game and has at least got into just Town Hall 4 has experienced and played with the balloon and then most likely know how it works. And as we all know, Clash of Clans is the type of game where many players stop playing for extended periods of time, sometimes even years, and then they just come back for a bit when they suddenly get the urge to play again. And with how fast the game is changing, it can feel extremely different and confusing for some players who just haven't played in a while, and having players confused is a surefire way to get them to just stop playing again. But the balloons are one of the few things that have mostly stayed the same over the years, meaning older players will be able to essentially pick right back up where they left off. And because a lot of people do use the balloons, they are essentially like a comfort troop, similar with the dragons. And what this overall does is help keep players coming back since they always know that they will be able to use their favorite strategy and won't have to try and come up with or learn something else because what they used to do got nerfed and is no longer viable. And I think that this is really a key part in what Clash of Clans has been so successful for as long as it has. But another reason Supercell is never going to nerf the balloons is because they already nerfed them. Now I know this doesn't really make sense because the balloon hasn't received any nerfs to its stats. In fact it has only received some minor buffs over the years. But as I had mentioned earlier Supercell has never directly nerfed them. Instead all of the nerfs have been indirect. So 
So let's go over a couple of them. First of all, you have the addition of the air bombs and seeking air mines in February of 2013. These were added because the balloons and dragons were insanely overpowered and there were basically no counters to air trips at this time. And while you can argue that the air bomb wasn't too big of a deal, the seeking air mines on the other hand were a whole nother story. As you know and have probably painfully experienced, a single seeking air mine can just obliterate a group of balloons flying close together and this in some cases can absolutely ruin the attack, especially in the lava balloon strategy since the balloons are the majority of the damage in the strategy. But even more indirectly, this also made the dragons weaker, which in turn made the balloons weaker as they relied on the dragons to kind of tank for them in the dragon and balloon attacks. And as the game also evolved, things like air traps also sprung up where you would just have a ton of the bombs and mines together so that it would be a massive clump. And if you had a massive clump of your own army there, then the attack was pretty much over if you couldn't use a warren's ability in time. And this was just one of the indirect nerfs, and it wasn't even the biggest. What probably was the biggest, however, was the addition of the air sweeper in April of 2015. Now, I made a whole video on this, but basically the air sweeper became the biggest counter to air attacks despite it being the only defense that does no damage. The air sweeper being able to push back the air troops made them slower, and that was bad since most air armies really rely on being extremely aggressive and just getting through the base as fast as possible. And the balloons were especially affected since they were normally very slow troops and them just getting pushed back even more really made them less effective and made it easier for defenses to shoot them down and cause them to deal less damage. And overall, the air sweeper probably had the biggest impact against the balloons and just about every other air troop as well. But after the air defense, the multi-target inferno is probably the next biggest threat to the balloons, and it has gotten multiple buffs over time, which all were indirectly nerfs to the balloons. The first major change was in October of 2016 in which the multi-target locked onto new targets faster which was crucial against the balloons since they obviously traveled in massive hordes most of the times especially in the lava loon strategy which was the most popular and most powerful at the time. This change will lead to the balloons getting killed faster which obviously nerfed them but despite this they were still considered quite powerful and obviously if someone only had single target infernos then this change just didn't even matter. But in June of 2017 the damage was increased with the multi target inferno at level 4 and the level 5 inferno was also added meaning that the infernal towers were now even stronger at 10 or 11 since a whole new level was also added. And this once again helped nerf the lava balloon strategy and mass balloon strategy. And in 2018, the Inferno Tower just got so many buffs, and this was possibly one of the worst years for the balloons. First of all, they got two separate damage buffs with the higher levels around tunnels 10 and 11, and then their range also got increased a few months later, which meant that they could start damaging the balloon sooner, which was great as it bought them more time to deal even more damage since the balloons typically moved pretty slowly. So just a one tile increase made a considerable difference. And then what is probably the biggest change was that a third inferno tower got added, and this meant you could now have three infernos set to multi-target, which in some cases, depending on the base, was enough to prevent any balloon attacks just because of how hard it was to attack three multi-target infernos if your primary troop was the balloon. And so with all of these changes, the balloon has actually been heavily nerfed. But it is still a very good troop and is very viable in a ton of strategies like I mentioned earlier. But the final reason why Supercell would never directly nerf the balloon is just because everyone loves it. And this is kind of similar to what I had said earlier about them being reliable, but this takes it a little farther. The Balloon has proven to be one of the most famous troops in the game and it is so iconic that the Lava Loon strategy was turned into a single troop during the Halloween Mashup Madness event in October of last year. This was one of the best events that Clash of Clans has ever had and a big reason for that was a Lava Loon troop that combined the Lava Hound and Balloons. This was an extremely powerful and truly broken troop that just led to so many 3 stars and so much fun for all the players. And this would never have happened 
happened if Supercell ended up nerfing the balloons to a point where people didn't like them. And that even also brought a lot of the older players back into the game, which ties into what I said earlier about the balloons being good for player retention. And this concept can also be proven by the new event in February, which is very much dragon themed that the dragons are also up there with being one of the most iconic and powerful troops in the game. And they are all also loved by the community, except for the Electro Dragon. But this all shows that Supercell are catering towards what the players really like and that is why they won't make any direct nerves to the balloons anytime soon.